season. God has blessed me so much with all you new subscribers. Guys, we have had almost a thousand new subscribers this year. That is amazing. You guys will not see me after today until Christmas is over, which some of you are probably saying, oh, I'm glad. I know my haters are, but I'm really going to rile them up today because a few of you guys sent me some stuff. And I just want to showcase what the viewers, my friends, my family send to me. Number one, I want to give a huge shout out to Alan Claw. That guy is awesome, great guy. And he sent Sarah and I a $25 Lowe's gift card. Alan, God bless you, man. Thank you so much. What a blessing. Next, our buddy Tom Doby, Dopester, one, one of, probably one of my best buds, he sent Sarah a pair of pink steel gloves, guys, look at those, she put them on, she said, oh, these are nice, she never had, well, she's had nice gloves, but she never had steel gloves, so Tom, thank you, Tom also sent me a steel hat that is awesome love it and Sarah and I get to pick because he sent another steel hat but that's not just from Tom Doby that's from Johnny Reagan the number one doc hater in the nation my buddy Johnny Reagan he's not a doc hater I just say that man just teasing him you know but the one thing, before we get going into this toolbox tour, I did find a toolbox that I think I like. Uh, Sarah and I talked, we're probably going to wait for one more season to buy it. It's the Proto, made in the USA. It's blue with a, um, what do you call it, like a uh, rhino liner top on it. It's a double bank. And it is beautiful, and it's exactly what I need. So, I got to show you guys something. Tom sent me something else, and this, this makes a difference. Tom sent me some steel super lube. Okay, now, there's a difference, guys. This one is for your hedge trimmers. I didn't know this, so I've been putting this in my weed eaters this is for your weed eaters the super lube fs right there on the side if you have the steel hedge trimmers and you've got steel um weed eaters you got to have a different lube guys for each different lubes make sure you let the people know at your dealer i need one for my hedge trimmer I need one for my weed eaters. They're different. Now, let's get into the toolbox tour. We're going to go with the top box here, guys. Well, the little top thing here. Look, I got Pittsburgh screwdrivers. I have got everything in here, guys. Okay. I got my little heating torch, my little prescription, precision, prescription. What am I saying? Precision screwdrivers. Every guy has got to have one of these, okay? I don't know why, but you got to have one, okay? Uh, you got to have your pure filters for your kitchen sink. My wife bought me the microfiber towels, wonderful. Uh, stickers, everybody's got to have stickers, man. Don't forget Hudson Lawn Care. And uh, let's put those up there. You got to have old pulleys. Here is a little box of 
odds and ends, screws, bolts, nuts. Now, one thing about these tools. 90% of these Sarah bought me for Christmas before I ever had a toolbox. Now, here's my junk drawer, guys. Okay, I got my little snap-on utility knife, my little snap-on flashlight that probably, yeah, it barely works because I need to put uh, stuff in it. Got my black marker, black pen. Uh, you got some of these. Everybody needs those. Got another flashlight that does not work. When I used to have air tires, thank goodness I don't anymore. There's the caps for them. I bought a bunch of caps. You can use them on your car, wherever. This thing is really cool. Okay. The safety or the speedy sharp. You can sharpen almost anything if I can take that off. Right there, man. Kitchen knives blades anything you got that needs sharpened man that thing will do it that thing is awesome uh extra springs for my quick shoot and of course you got to have your air chucks and all that stuff my lock and lube for my grease gun that's an extra end gotta have your electrical tape all right let's go right here these are all HDX screwdrivers, and I got those at Harbor Freight. Got my little punch right there, center punch. Those are all screwdrivers Sarah bought me for our first Christmas together. Okay, you got little Torx tips, you got Phillips, you got square heads. You will not believe how many times you'll use a square head. And believe it or not, guys, these things are all guaranteed for life through Home Depot. Let's go over here. Here are the first. Now, her parents bought me these for Christmas, the vice grips. There's three of them. Sarah bought me those. Little pliers for the house. We bought these. Uh, these were actually a gift from my father-in-law for Christmas. Three adjustable wrenches, some of my dad's old sockets, and the Husky that Sarah bought me. She bought me, um, let's see, well, there's other ones, but I've got them in other toolboxes. Let's see here. Yeah, here we go. There's my wrench drawer. These things are kind of all over the place. Um, I will do my thing like you guys like to see my organization there's my go-to 15 16 for the blades i bought these off a guy at tuffy auto for 30 bucks i've had those for about 15 years let's go down here this is the last drawer okay so this is for your petra sprayer you can order these things those are sweet. I've got two of them. Of course, Petra gave those to me. Thank you, Petra Tools. Then let's get this out. This was the first thing Sarah ever bought me. Was a little Husky 45-piece stubby set. And I'm telling you guys, this thing is so cool. I've used it so many times cannot imagine this was the very first toolkit Sarah ever bought me um, you can tell that it's been used uh, many a time and uh, it's got the quarter inch 3 8 and somebody really wants to get a hold of me uh, I've used that a lot and of course the adjustable wrench this stuff is pretty Pretty strong stuff, man. Still use it to this day when I'm, you know, going out to the car or something and I just need a little something with me. There it is. I think she paid 29 bucks for that or something like eight years ago, nine years ago. Still got it. Still works. Here's a little, uh, I bought this about 
two years ago just to keep nuts and bolts and all that stuff in it. So when I used to have my echoes, if anybody needs these little echo springs for your uh, blower, I got a ton of them. You can have them. Uh, of course, blades. Those are your bolts for your uh, snow blower. I used to have. Uh, these are all the extra parts for when you get your speed feed head. Big pins. Just, you know, bolts, nuts, bolts, nuts, washers. You know, everybody's got that stuff, man. Well, maybe. There we go. Put that over here. And then I'm going to get this one out for you. Give me just a second. Okay, Sarah bought me this for our third Christmas together. And that is my pride and joy, baby. It's a 100, I don't know, 100 and, gosh, what is it? Let's see. 108 piece Craftsman set. Do I still use it? Yes, I do. That's, I will have this thing forever. Still works great. Now, this is the one that they made in Taiwan or something like that. I don't know. It's not the American-made Craftsman, but it is a nice set, let me tell you. So, over here on the side, I got a bunch of speed feed caps. I keep a bunch of them, even the old ones, because you can throw, as you see, you can throw a tap cap on them and they're good. Down below, just uh, blades of all kinds, of all kinds. If anybody needs a blade for a 52 high lift for a 52, let me know. It's gotta be a skag. Got my little sledge. That thing is uh, about as old. I, th I think that's like 15 years old, man. Stand up. And got my stickers. We're going to replace that sticker with a big old bad boy sticker one of these days. Um, but you see, those are the tools that I used for, oh my gosh, so many years. I would say... Maybe five, six, seven years, something like probably about seven years before I could get my American made tools. But everything, nothing broke, everything worked. And uh, definitely will be selling the US General box. I think I'm going to keep the Husky box and just roll in the Proto, kind of put, you know, the Proto right over here. Put the Husky down here, move some stuff. Um, I got that put up last year, those put in last year. We put the heater in last year. It's not even cold enough out right now, but put that in, put that in. I put that thing on the wall last year. Uh, some new fishing poles are in order coming up this year, trust me. And look at all that oil, guys. That's how many oil changes I had this year. It was enough to fill up, what, seven gallons. So the company that works next door to me takes that from me. I'll probably take it over there early January, middle of February. I just dump it in their thing, keep my gallon jugs, and back to work I go. Um, no, I never did get this washed. I'm sorry, I didn't get it washed. We are gonna be doing some work on it soon. We're gonna be doing some work on the chainsaw, on the echo trimmer. We're gonna be doing some work soon on these. That is since a loose blower, I'm letting him have it. Uh, we're gonna be doing, putting a new plug in that one. Put that up last year. To hold all my stuff and uh, there is my compressor uh, had my buddy Robert ask about my compressor 
it's just a 20 gallon stand up 110 uh, I bought that like five years ago, I want to say four or five years ago. And the hose just sits down in that. And uh, this is my one and a half ton jack that I use around here in the shop. I think I paid 90 bucks at Harbor Freight 10 years ago for that, man. So that's my little setup, guys. Of course, there's our man. Shop towels, you got to have those. Got all kinds of junk in here. We're going to clean this garage out soon. And there's my new garage door, fellas. I'm telling you, that thing is the cat's meow. Just so quiet. The belt system is so quiet. All right, that's enough. Hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. God bless you all. And I thank all of you who watch and who subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And uh, hey, as always guys, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. Have a very Merry Christmas. We will see you on Tuesday. Peace.